So hi guys, uh, my name is Stefan Simon and um, I am a senior lecturer in endodontics and uh, oral biology at the University of Paris Diderot, Paris 7. Um, just, uh, it's a, just a quick talk because I can't be, with you, I can't be with you today and I just would like to share with you my point of view about uh, the Bioroot SES uh, sealer. Uh, and then I don't want to call it a sealer and uh, at the end of the five minutes talk uh, you will understand why. Because this, uh, I consider the Bioroot more as a filler than rather than the sealer. So why? So as you know that um, anodontics is a problem of disinfection of the root canal and, and the obturation or filling of the root canal is a final step of the root canal treatment and it's a very very important one. Why? Because we know, we know now that uh, for a long long time that uh, even if we use the best system of disinfection we can't we can't uh, uh, sterilize the root canal. So at the end, we still have a remaining bacteria or toxin inside the root canal, and we have to close this and to entomb them in the root canal filling. And the second, uh, the, the, the second objective of the root canal filling is to avoid any uh, new contamination. So, um, in the past, a lot of techniques have been described. Um, cold lateral condensation, uh, a single cone technique, and a warm compaction of good approach. Um, I just keep the three of them because they are the most, the most used techniques all over the world. Why do we have to think about that? Um, I can take a comparison with the uh, restorative dentistry. When the dentist has to fill uh, a, a cavity uh, after, uh, when, after, uh, after having removed the uh, caries disease, he's going to use a composite resin or amalgams or biodentin, whatever. But if you use a composite resin, um, the composite resin has no ability to seal, to stick at the dentin tissue. So we are going to use a, uh, uh, an adhesive system bonding system and then I think that if the dentist is a qualified person he will never use the the bonding to fill the root to, to fill the cavity and after that just use uh, a small drop of composite now he's going to fill the cavity with a composite resin and because this composite resin has no ability to seal to the dentin he's going to use a bonding system and then you, it, it's very very interesting to keep in mind this point because what happened in the root canal filling is exactly the same thing so when, you, when we're going to fill the root canal, we're going to use a core material, which is the gutta percha, and this gutta percha has no ability to seal to the root canal, uh, to the root canal dentin. And that's the problem, because if we had, if we had in the past the gutta percha with a, a sealing ability to the, root to the root canal dentin, we don't have any, we will not have any problem. So, all of the techniques we use, actually, are using a core material, and then I can say that 100% consider the good aperture are the best one, and we're going to use a sealer to seal the good aperture to the root canal dentin. One of the problems of this root canal sealer is that it has no ability to be stable in the time. So, uh, uh, the, the, this material can be, uh, will dissolve with the time, and then this dissolution with the time is going to create a void between the good aperture and the root canal dentin. And we know that the nature doesn't like the void. So, as soon as, soon as you will have, uh, we get a void inside the root canal filling, this void will be contaminated by the bacteria because we have still remaining bacteria inside the root canal. So that's why all the technique we use needs to get a maximum of the core material and a minimum of the sealer. But the core alone is not good, is not good enough, and too much sealer is a problem for the stability of the uh, the root canal filling in the time. So, and then the problem, the, the point is that every technique we use is uh, acceptable as soon as we have a maximum of good aperture and a minimum of sealer. So that's why the warm compaction of good warm, compa warm vertical compaction of good aperture is the best technique for every uh, uh, specialist all over the world because that's the technique where we have a maximum of good aperture and a minimum of sealer. So um, what is the paradigm shift now? 
Paradigm shift is that if you use a single cold technique with a traditional sealer, we have too much sealer that, and then that's it's a big problem. So now, uh, let's think about a new biomaterial who could be a core material and a sealer in the same time. So, uh, and that's why, uh, uh, the, the, that's why I definitely like uh, uh, the BioRoot AirSales uh, system because the, root, the BioRoot is not a sealer only anymore, it's also a core material. And then what is very, the, 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 the thing is that um, if we use it with a single cone technique, and be careful because I don't like this, uh, 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 this word, but that's, that's the fact. Um, the idea is to fill the root canal system with the bio root itself. The problem is that technically, to push the bio roots as deep as possible inside the root canal, we need a carrier. So we can use a spiral, we can use or what we call a French lantulo, uh, we can use a syringe, we can use whatever you want. The problem is that because we have a taper, taper preparation of the root canal, it's, it's finally quite complicated to push, uh, 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 to push the, the biomaterial uh, uh, up to the, working, uh, up to, to the final, uh, final uh, place of the obturation. So, uh, that's one of the reasons why we're going to use a carrier. And finally, the good aperca can be used, the good aperca points can be used as a, as, a, as a carrier. And the second reason why we definitely need so far uh, 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 to use a single uh, uh, a cone, a good aperca point in this technique is in case of retreatment. We know that probably even if it's the best material all over the world, we, we will probably have to retrieve the teeth. And then the bioceramics is impossible to be retrieved, to be removed, because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very hard. So if we use a good aperture point, we know that we will be able to go through this big good aperture point in case of retreatment. So that's why, actually, um, I think that this true paradigm shift will be to revisit the single cone technique and then, but it's not, a, the, the good aperture point is not a core material anymore. It's just used as a carrier and as, as a possibility of retreatment. So, um, in the last three years, uh, uh, we, we have been invited by Septodon Company uh, to do a research, a clinical research for uh, comparing the outcome of root canal treatment with this technique compared to the traditional one with warm, warm vertical compaction. And um, so the, this, the, the patients have been uh, randomized in these two, uh, uh, two branches of, uh, of the research and uh, they have been recalled at six months, one year and two years. Actually we are completing the two years recall and then the one year, the 12 months recall uh, has been uh, completed last, uh, last year in July, July 2015. I can't give you the full results because they are still confidential but um, if I am in front of you, even if it's through a camera and a video recorder, uh, to tell you this story, it's just because I know the results and I'm very confident to, to try to push you and to give you this story and then to enter of the story of the parody game shift. So, uh, I'm, as, as a researcher, I still have a lot of concern of everything. Uh, things can be uh, uh, modified, uh, a lot of amelioration are already on the road, but as a clinician and as a researcher and then as a teacher, um, I definitely see in this technique uh, the future of the root canal filling. It's easier, faster, what about the price? I have no idea. I don't know. I, I've heard that it's not so expensive. So you have all of the factors you can use to promote this, uh, this biomaterial. Um, just before uh, to, to, to close my talk, I just want to tell you that I have no financial interest in this product. I just have the faith that endodontics has to be simplified in the future if we want to get good outcome. And then using a, a simple technique, easy 
safety technique with a good biomaterial is one of the key points to, uh, 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 to facilitate the treatment for juniors or for GPs and even for seniors. So enjoy your time there and uh, trust me you can be very confident in this, in this product.